Hi, welcome to educators.com. This is Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about what is MapReduce, evolution of MapReduce, MapReduce phases, what is input split, what is the difference between the input split and the block. MapReduce. Here the MapReduce is nothing but it's a processing framework. In the earlier we have understand the HDFS is mainly for the storage. So what we are going to do is whatever the data is stored as part of your Hadoop distributed file system with the help of the MapReduce processing framework which we are going to process the data. So we can use any of the programming languages such as Java, Python, Ruby, C++, we can use, we can write the MapReduce programs in any of these languages. How your MapReduce is going to be uh, run is nothing but, it is going to be use the parallel processing and also the same machines whatever you have used it for the uh, data nodes like a commodity hardware machines, in the same machine your uh, tasks are also going to be run, that too in parallel. That makes MapReduce very powerful. And also, MapReduce is also fault tolerant, similar to your HDFS. That means, whenever your task is running and one of the machine went down, at that time your task is going to be reassign in the another machine and it is going to be taken care about. So such kind of the fault tolerance is also exist as part of your MapReduce. So in this MapReduce, how it was evolved? Initially in the 2002, Google has published the paper, Google has started working on a paper on a MapReduce and then they have published the paper in 2004. So Doc Cutting is the person behind the Hadoop. He has taken this paper as a basis and he started implementing our Hadoop and MapReduce as well. So the same person started working in the Yahoo. So Yahoo is the first company who implemented our uh, Hadoop and the MapReduce. And after that in 2008 Hadoop Summit was there and in the 2007 the Spark paper also released. In the last module, we are going to understand what is the difference between our MapReduce processing framework and the Spark. When we are talking about the MapReduce, there are three important phases, which we call it as the Map phase, Shuffle and Sort phase, Reducer phase. Let's try to understand what is going to happen in each of these phases. You see this diagram, in the left hand side you can see your input file. So your input file must need to be presented as part of your Hadoop distributed file system. We will be placing with the help of the copy from local commands as well. And here internally your input file is going to be divided into something called a input splits. Similar to your blocks. So in the next slides, we are going to discuss in detail about what is input splits and how it differs from the blocks. But here, whatever the input file is there, your input file is dividing into the multiple input splits. And each input split will be assigning to a mapper. You can see input split 1, mapper 1, split 2, mapper 2, split 3, mapper 3. So behind the scene, there is a record reader object. So that will be helping in assigning your input split to the mappers. And here the developer will be writing a code for the mappers. So whatever the code is here, this emits something called an intermediate mapper output results. This phase, these are all the intermediate mapper output results. This gets stored as part of your disk temporarily. So these are all the key and values. So whatever we are talking about in the map reduce, everything is as part of the key and values itself. 
So whatever the key and values are there, these are all the intermediate results will be sending it to the reducer. But in between this, there is a phase called shuffle and sort phase. So in this phase, all your keys and values, it is grouped by your key and also it is going to be sorted by your key. So once this is done, these values will be sending it to your reducer. So finally in your reducer, your developer code, whatever it has written, that gets executed and it results a file called a part hyphen r hyphen. 5 zeros. So that is a by default file which generates by your reducer. So if you observe these three phases, during the map phase, simply it is input split will be assigning to a mapper and mapper is generating your intermediate results. That is what it happens in the map phase. When it comes to the shuffle and sort phase, whatever the intermediate mapper output results are there, it get grouped by the keys and sorted by the key and it passed to the reducers and finally in the reducer phase whatever the shuffle and sort results are there it get, will be coming into your result I mean the, it will be coming into your reducers and your processing will be done over here and it results a final part files and here you can understand one more thing Right now in the right hand side you can see a single reducer. So by default there is one reducer exists. But if you want a multiple reducer even we can do that. By setting up some parameters which we will be discussing in our future sessions. We can even have the multiple number of the reducers as well. So map phase. As we talk about each and everything is worked here as part of the key and values itself. Your mapper input, mapper output, reducer input, reducer output. Everything is as part of the key and value pair itself. So here the mapper's job, what it does is it processes the data. Whatever the input data is there, it get processed over here. And also here, whatever we are talking about, it always divides into the small pieces and it process our data. In the shuffle and sort, as we already discussed, whatever the intermediate mapper output results are there, it will be sorted based upon your keys and also it will be grouped by the keys. And it will be moved to your reducer for the final processing. So in the reducer phase, whatever the intermediate values we got it in the mapper output results, that will be coming into your reducer as inputs. Whatever the code developer has written, that gets executed and finally it gives that uh, the result file. As we mentioned that, you can even have the several reducers as well. So everything runs in parallel to improve the performance. And one more thing to understand, whatever the final result is there, that result is going to be stored as part of your Hadoop distributed file system itself. In the initial diagram, we have seen the input split. So the input split is nothing but this is just a logical reference to your actual data. Because your actual data always gets stored as part of the blocks. When I say the blocks, blocks exist as part of your HDFS. But here the input split is nothing but it is a logical reference to your actual block. This exists as part of your map radius. As I mentioned, it uses the record reader object class to read the files. And it uses the input format class. So if you see the difference between your input split versus the block, block is a physical thing, it exists. Once after you have done the installations, if you go into your data nodes directory where all your blocks are storing, you can see the physical blocks, but this input split is just a logical representation. Here our mapper reads the data from the blocks, but it uses the split. That is the reason why when I say that input split, input split exists only in the map reduce. 
So your input split acts as a broker in between your uh, blocks and the mappers. Summary. In this module, we discussed what is MapReduce, how it was evolved, and programming languages which we can use to write our MapReduce, Java, Python, C++, Ruby, and these are all the things. And we have understand the three different phases like a map phase, shuffle phase, sort phase, and the reducers. And also we have seen everything is in terms of the key and value pairs itself. And finally, we have understand the input split is nothing but it is a logical representation to your actual block. So this input split exists as part of your map reduce. In the next module, we are going to see the architecture of the map reduce. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.